I'm an I eat person, so I'm always interested in the focus and not as first do so much for the relationship. I can do later. And this is about systemic TA here. And for me, one of my definitions of TA was co-creating reality through communication. And we certainly can use concepts like ego states and games and all these. Uh, but we have to develop that further. And because I'm working in the organizational field mainly, I'm certainly interested in ways of doing TA that are fitting this field. And there was Graham Barnes, who was an e EBMA winner, who said in his acceptance speech, TA cannot go further because it neglects content and it neglects context. And the concept that is doing this does not have any future, especially not in other fields than psychotherapy. And I want you to give you, and, and I'm, um, I developed a lot to invite content, content and context to TA and to find out, out what is specific for psychotherapy and should not be transferred that way into other fields, but also to be specific in a different way in other fields. And I, to finish up for this moment, I want just to give you an example. We talked uh, with Renato and Giesen when we have been in San Gimignano now, the concept of symbiosis. Uh, from a only psychological perspective, you look, let's say, on a CEO of a company and one of his leading team, and they are communicating with each other. And you do not see any psychological symbiotic relationship. It looks like adult. But if you step one step back, you see it's the context is organization. There are uh, shaping reality in a role relationship between CEO and one of his team. And when you look at content, you might detect that also psychologically it looks good. They are developing a strategy for the company who puts discomfort and shifts responsibility to others who are not in the situation. And uh, I find it important that TA reflects uh, the system we are looking and that we use our, all our concepts to enlarge the perspective and decide which view we will have from time to time according to the professional contract, according to the professional identity of those who act there and according to the organizational uh, roles and the context they act within. So that we develop TA into a, a view that is able to help us really to create better shared realities. 10 minutes? No. Less. Five. Five only? Okay, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could use one or two minutes to, to expand on the uh, perspective of shared reality. Um, usually, uh, we assume we are in the same culture, so we understand, we have the same perspective on reality, understand the same thing of when we talk about reality. But that's an illusion. And, we will have many examples here these days that everybody has a different reality with a different background and a different context. And so it's, now, it's not pathological if you find out at one step that you didn't meet each other. 
you, miss, you had the illusions of shared reality, but it's not true. And TA is especially a wonderful method to purposely and very uh, attentively create reality together and positively deal with the difference and with the discomfort sometimes that is coming from the differences. So I guess the topic this time here, uh, culture of systems gives us a lot of opportunities to talk about difference in worldviews, realities, and what happens when seas meet through us as persons. Now I'm finished. Thank you.